back to hashtag entrepreneurship tuesday at y in the morning at y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles at michelle ashira is where you can reach out to me in this particular session we look into another interview whereby we're getting to understand how important it is to invest in uh, the music industry and joining me is none other than uh, binti raquel hello <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I am, um, no, we are happy to have you on board this I day. appreciate <laughs> Okay, so starting us off, when did you uh, discover that you have talent in uh, singing? I, okay, I discovered like three years ago mm -hmm. that uh, I've been singing in church youth choirs since I was young, but I never realized that this gonna be part of my life you know mm -hmm. so i think three years back mm -hmm. that's when i discovered that i can really write something and put it into a song okay yeah. and uh why did it take you long to actually uh you know manifest whichever you actually desire for the longest period of time in your life um <laughs> you life know happened yeah life happened uh -huh. yeah so when you um you're still okay when we are growing we're still learning and we mm -hmm. still come along with many challenges mm -hmm. um so it takes time to realize okay uh, so how long have you been into the music industry now three years now mm -hmm. okay so when you're starting off mm -hmm. uh what are a couple of challenges you're facing just getting into this new space and well, were you employed prior to this are you in this full time um at the moment, no, I'm not in it uh, full time because mm -hmm. um, it hasn't uh, started to give me much revenue yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for someone who is watching this and they really want to get into the music scene, mm -hmm. uh, but there's also the aspect of you and mm -hmm. as much as some the expectations that you have that you have to invest yeah. before you actually get your returns. What would you tell that person? who feels that uh, I'm not about to jump, you yeah. know, and take a risk like that one. Okay, music can come with passion. Mm -hmm. So first, if you have the passion, that's the first step. And um, uh, if you want, uh, you... Okay, next, I think you also have to have, like, mm -hmm. a good job or a revenue that can assist you in, in doing the, uh, the music. Mm -hmm. And um, also, yeah, you, you shouldn't give up. Did you have someone who held your hand while starting off uh, in this industry? Okay, I have my family and partly some friends which, who, who really um, give me a courage and push me up. Mm -hmm. yeah. What was your experience uh, when you went to the studio for the first time and which song was that that you went to actually record? Okay, it's weird <laughs> because the first song that I made, I didn't put it on a studio. Mm -hmm. But the first song that I did on a studio was a Christmas song. Mm -hmm. All right, so looking back, I'm just checking uh, your profile on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, you have a couple of songs. These are Pokomo song, known as, uh, I, want, I don't want to mispronounce this word. The Pokomo song, it's Nitsamu, Ni which means Nitsamu. Um, it's sweet. It's sweet. Yeah. And then there's I Do. Yes, and then do. what I've noticed is that there is a like a back to back release from August and just your reason jam I d is it I do? Yes I do. Yeah. yeah. So is there like uh, an intentional was that an intentional uh upload or intentional release of your music? Yeah, that was an intentional release of my music. Okay, what was the the whole idea about it? Okay, uh, I actually did the videos early this year before COVID. Mm -hmm. So after COVID started, I was like, I didn't know how to release them, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's why it took a long time, a long time to release like almost <laughs> what I have done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looking back uh, three years down the line, do you regret venturing into this um, yeah, space? No, I don't regret at all because I think music is part of me and I really feel happy and content inside. All right. Yeah. For someone who's watching this, and let's go back to the fact that it's an investment, right, before yeah. you get any return. It's like any other business. Yeah. So for someone who's watching this and they're wondering, um, uh, I'm 
where I'm working, yeah, mm -hmm. somewhere else, maybe I'm employed or running my own business. And then there's music where I'm actually just putting in uh, or like it's definitely investment and waiting to the returns. How do you ensure you're patient and actually persistent and just going forward? Yeah, uh, okay. How do I ensure it? Actually, if you have, just like I've said before, you have to have the passion. And also, music is not like one thing. Like, you can see my first video I did it in 2017, then I saw it. It's something mm -hmm. that you, it has to be consistent. You have to put your more energy into it. So consistency is also very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and what makes you like resilient? Because it's not easy. It's, yeah, not, it's easy. not easy. Yeah, that's why I say it's it also has to be passion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it has to be something you love. Yeah. Okay, uh, Raquel, you have a different sound uh, when it comes to your music, and you have numerous uh, amazing artists currently in the game. What is so different about Raquel? Um. Okay. <laughs> That question is a bit tricky. Huh? Okay, what's different about me? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I think uh, it's because I do all kind of music. Okay. Yeah, and um, I find it so difficult mm -hmm. to specialize in one of them because okay. I really want to write my idea and what is my is in my mind forever. Right. Uh -huh. So when I say I only specialize in gospel, it's mm -hmm. it's difficult for me to do that. So. I just decided I'm going to do all of them okay. all together. All right. yeah. So you don't want to be put <laughs> in a box when I explode. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I've listened to your Pokemon song and, and I loved it, even though I understand that thing. But the same, it's, it's, it's talking about love. About the melody and everything. <laughs> so on that note, let's listen into one of your songs and then we'll get back to uh, this conversation. All right. 